Hello. Right, I think I'm just about ready. We've got some great suggestions from people who have written in of things they want Paddington to have at his birthday party. So, as I mentioned, I'm a storyboard artist, so normally we draw really quick just to plan things out first. So I'm going to do a quick little doodle for each of these first before we move on to our main drawing. So, uh, normally I'll be drawing Paddington really quick. He's wondering what he's going to have at his birthday party. Ooh. So that's how I normally draw Paddington when I'm working. And we've got some brilliant suggestions. So, Harry from Cornwall, hello Harry, has suggested a marmalade jar pinata. How wonderful is that? Um, Alistair from Saskatchewan, Canada. I really hope I said that right. I'm sorry, Alistair, if I got it wrong. He's asked if Paddington can be on a video call with Aunt Lucy. That's a lovely idea, Alistair. That's very cute. I'm just doodling this in. It's very rough at the moment, don't worry. We'll, we'll do a neater version in a minute. Um, Kathy, all the way from Idaho, has asked for some bunting. But she has asked for it to have UK flags and Peruvian flags. So I'm just going to roughly draw that like that for now. And Lucy from Sydney, she's asked if we can have a giant jar of marmalade with a bow on top. That's a great idea, Lucy. He'd love that. And Alejandra, all the way from California. Alejandra, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, uh, has asked for a decorated table with gnomes. So there's some presents and some cake. And we're going to have some gnomes around it. So, now we roughly know all the things Pan's going to He's very excited now. Let's do our proper drawing. So, I'm just going to roughly plan it out first. So I think we'll have Paddington... Oh, let's have him sat with the big jar that Lucy suggested. Yeah, because that can be his big present. It's like he's just received a jar for his birthday. It's brilliant. And let's put the table in here. Alejandra suggested. It's a nice little tablecloth. Let's hold on it. And of course, he's very excited about it. He should be on a video call to Aunt Lucy showing off his new birthday present. So I'm going to put the video call on the table. There we go some cupcakes to the table so we know it's a party table. We'll rough some gnomes around. It's a great party. So when I draw Panton's hat I normally do like a rough S just to get the brim of his hat there. There we go. So very excited about his big jar. So great idea, Lucy. That's definitely going to be his best present, isn't it? Right. Now, we've got a few things that need to be sort of hung up. So, let's add a tree. And I'm going to do the piñata hanging here. So it's in the background. So they haven't played it yet, but they're going to. So that's Harry's piñata. Full of, it's going to be full of marmalade sweets, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> and then for the bunting, which was Kathy's idea. Brilliant idea, Kathy. I'll do it coming around here. That's lovely bunting. Oh, I don't want it to get too in the way of the piñata. So that's where we'll have our bunting. And I might have the gnome just hold a balloon. <laughs> so we know it's definitely a party so there we go that's our rough plan i believe i've got everything we've got the pinata jar from harry we've got the video call from alistair 
we've got the bunting from Kathy, we've got the giant jar from Lucy, and we've got the big table with the gnomes from Alejandra as well. Brilliant. This looks like a this looks like a great party, guys. I'll have the bunting go down here a bit. Right, so I'm just gonna spend a few moments neatening this up. Um and then we get to colour it in. It's not very often I get to do uh, one very nice neat drawing. It's lovely actually. So you've got little, these little chops and these little eyes. Got my rubber for when I go wrong, <laughs> which I definitely will. It's all right if you go wrong. I think I've drawn his eyes a bit too close together. make his computer a little bit bigger. So there we go. There's Auntie Lucy. She's wishing him a happy birthday. He's going, oh look Aunt Lucy, look at this marmalade jar. I do like drawing his little feet. His little face. Right. Pinata time. I'll put a label on it so we know it's marmalade. Now it's normally made, pinatas are made of lots of little strips of paper, aren't they? Give that a bash later. <laughs> there we go, it's tied up to the tree trunk, uh, to the branch. Now let's do and some cupcakes. I drew them in very rough earlier. It's just good to have a plan of where everything's going to fit. There we go, I've got little cherries on the top. Um, I'll do one with some spring. See, the table needs its table leg. <laughs> now we've got Mr. Curry's gnomes. So, they normally have little beards. And normally they're holding little spades and stuff, but I'm going to do this one holding a balloon. There we go. Little feet. And you can be stood on a little log because they're a bit short, the gnomes, aren't they? I think they'll need some seats. There we go.
little noses and little pointy hats and a little point down for their beard. There we go. These party guests. <laughs> I guess Jonathan and Judy will be turning up in a bit. I wonder what Mr Curry will say when he finds out Paddington's borrowed some of his knives. Right, the bunting. Now, I'm going to alternate. Actually, I'll do that one with this instead. There we go, that'll be a bit better. I'm going to alternate between the UK flag and the Peruvian flag. And the Peruvian flag is very interesting. I have to look this up. It's a very pretty flag. So, the UK flag. That's the easy one. <laughs> it's just almost like a star. Not that one. So we've got a cross at the front and then a cross behind, which is UK, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, all mixed together. Nice flag. Oh dear. No, nope. I'm going to do them um, alternating. Sorry, I shake the camera when I'm rubbing out. <laughs> so this one will be a UK one. This one will be Peruvian. This one will be UK. This one will be Peruvian. Bit of a UK one there. A nice big Peruvian one there. UK. It's a nice idea. A nice idea to have a mixed bunting. Uh, that one came from Kathy. That was your idea, wasn't it? The bunting. It's a very nice idea. Perfect for a party with a Peruvian bear who lives in the UK. It's wonderful. There we go. I think I've got just about everything before I neaten it. Mm, I might bring the uh, pinata down a bit. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> Let's bring that down just a little bit more so we've got a bit more space. There we go, so we can see it a bit clearer. I'm going to neaten all this with a pen in a minute, so it shouldn't matter too much if it's a bit rough now. It's always good to do your drawings quite rough first. Ah yes, I need to do the Peruvian flag, of course. Now, the Peruvian flag is very interesting. I'm just going to draw it like this for now. But it's got red, red, and then a white stripe in the middle, and it's got a really interesting little shield. Which I don't think I can draw very well so small <laughs> I'll have a go when I do it in pen let's make sure this one's right so it's got like beautiful little leaves all up the side I think it's got it's got like a horn with lots of coins falling out in this one and then here it's got a li uh, it's national animal and here it's got a tree and it's very nice yeah I'm just gonna draw it for, like that for now I'm sorry to any Peruvians watching. I don't think I can quite get the detail in. <laughs> right, so I think that's quite a good plan. I think that's looking all right. And then I'm going to start going over this in pen. 